Coach, a 74 to 50 win today, playing on the back to back. It started with that 12 3 run to open the game with those four main three pointers. Just overall, your thoughts on the game? Um, I was really pleased with the win. Long Beach State's a very good team. They're going to do well uh, in the Big West this year. And um, we didn't have a lot of time to prep for their zones. They play a lot of different um, types of zone defenses. So when we got off to that um, really nice start, you know, making three pointers and uh, finding open people and kind of jumping on them right away. That that was a good sign, obviously. And then I thought we did a really nice job of moving the ball and sharing the ball and finding gaps in the zone and um, creating some really good scoring opportunities for us and kind of made them get out of their zone and get into man. And um, I thought uh, Kennedy did a fantastic job on Bambrick, their leading scorer. She did. Really, it was just a really nice team effort. It was fun to see us come out and and play well. Now, I just mentioned this to Kennedy and Jess, but yesterday you out rebounded South Carolina State by 20. Today you out rebound Long Beach State by 19. I know it's just been a focal point that you've been home harping on all summer. What does it mean for you to see the results in game and just those positive work, that positive work on the glass? Well, I mean, we just we 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 have kids that are capable of rebounding. You know, Kennedy's a phenomenal athlete. She's um, done a great job of being really assertive this year. I think she's had double doubles in the majority of the games she's played, and really looking at attacking offensive rebounds, something we didn't have as much last year. I think, you know, Deb is somebody we need to get in there and rebound. Yesterday she did a good job. Today she was okay. Um, but, you know, I thought Deb had a really good stretch of two games here for us. We need, we need her to rebound. We need Lauren to rebound. We need it to be a collective team effort, and we certainly have been harping on it and practicing it and talking about it a lot and just making it a point of emphasis. So um, hopefully that's something that we will, you know, we're going to continue to emphasize it. Hopefully our kids will continue to respond the way they have. Now, Jess is someone you count on to play a ton of minutes, all the way dating back to last year. Today, she had 35 minutes. It was a game high, plus 29, eight assists, or five assists, eight assists yesterday. What, mm -hmm. what have you seen from her performance just initiating the offense and setting up her teammates for open look? Yeah, Jess is just so intelligent. She sees the game really well. She understands the game. She understands, you know, as well as we do as a coaching staff. So it's, you know, having a, another coach out on the floor. Um, she's the one really that orchestrated, um, you know, a lot of Deb's scoring opportunities, a lot of Yo's scoring opportunities, and she, you know, she finds people and puts people in positions, gets them the ball in positions where they're able to do something with it. Um, you know, I thought she, at the end of the game, finally, she kind of looked for her shot. That's the one. If I have a critique of Jess, it's that, you know, sometimes she gets caught up in kind of managing the flow of the game and forgets that she's actually playing in the game too and, and needs to be a scoring threat for us and look for shots because she's a, a really, really good shooter and scorer and is, is highly capable. But um, it's, you know, to have somebody on the floor with, you know, the experience that she has and the intelligence that she has is um, an incredible asset for us. Now looking ahead to the next week, first road game coming up against Northridge and then on Sunday the game at Chase Center. What do you look for from your team knowing this is a big week playing in new, new places and different opportunities with a lot of good things going around? Yeah, I think it's good that we get a road game. Um, we purposely scheduled a, you know, a heavy, heavy non-conference home schedule. Um, but we're, it's good to get uh, have an opportunity to go on the road and see kind of what that's like and the preparation because we've got, you know, we've got uh, you know Deb hasn't really traveled and played in a couple of years with us. Lauren hasn't been with us, so we have some new players to the roster that we need to kind of work the kinks out of travel and um, Chase Center game will be a fun game. That's the kids always love playing and on that court and um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this week. But you know we need to, to rest up tomorrow and then you know get back at it again and you know just keep a keep understanding what we're working towards. All of our non-conference is is geared to help keep us improving and getting us prepared for our WCC season.